Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a huge cumulative thrift outlet haul. This is going to be just over 75 items that I've sourced over the last couple of weeks from the Family Thrift Center outlet where I shop pretty much every Thursday. I'm there at 7 a.m. That is the day of the week that they put out all new merchandise onto their floor and everything in the store is two dollars and 25 cents per item so like i said i have just over 75 items so i probably spent around 180 dollars ish on everything you will see in this haul we have a couple pairs of shoes, a couple bags, and one belt, and then the rest is women's clothing. So let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off with shoes, we have a pair of Nayot sandals. I love finding this brand. It sells really well, and these are in pretty much like new condition. The footbed does get wear very easily, and there's little to none, so I really don't think they were ever worn. They kind of have that Birkenstock look and quality to them. These are a size 40. I'll expect probably $35 from these, uh, around $35, just because they are in such good condition. Second and last pair of shoes are these Fry sandals or flip-flops. They have a woven leather upper and then a leather sole with a, or a leather insole with a rubber sole. So really nice, again, high quality sandals here. These are a size nine, I believe. Yeah, size nine. Fry is a great brand. They're most well known for their boots, but sandals, purses also sell very well. We have one belt and this is so cool. I was about to check out and I just kind of saw this hanging with the other belts. I took a closer look mainly because the studding just looked really high quality as well as the leather. It's like super thick leather and I saw this stamp. It says old stud handmade. So with this being genuine leather and it being handmade, I for sure had to get it. The buckle, even the buckle is like very heavy and just really amazing quality. I think this belt retailed for a couple hundred originally, so I'm not sure what I'll list that for, but I could definitely not leave that. Okay, into purses now. I just thought this was super cute. It definitely has the kind of granny core, cottage core vibe going on. The handles are wooden and then it's lined with a crochet outer. Really cute. Just a nice little accessory to any outfit. Second bag. I thought this was cute. I think it's genuine suede and calf hair, but I couldn't find any tags on the interior indicating what the materials are. It's by the brand Vanelli or Van Eli. I'm not sure if there's a space there, but it's lined. It has a nice little snap closure. It's a good size and the chain hardware was still going strong. So I picked that up. Leopard cheetah stuff sells great for me. And lastly is this leather Banana Republic reptile kind of tote bag, shoulder bag. And I mean, this again, how could I leave this for $2.25? It's in such good condition, great quality. You can throw your laptop in here. It'd be a great, like going to a coffee shop kind of bag. And I mean, it's really in fabulous condition. That's the interior pocket with the brand name. So yeah love that. I'll probably list this, I would say 30 to 35 ish. You can kind of fold the sides in to have it, uh, look like that, or you can keep them out. Moving into clothing, starting off with one scarf. This is from J Jill. It's a reversible scarf. So it's gingham on one side and then like a hound or wait, is this gingham? <laughs> Is that houndstooth? Okay, so this is gingham and then this is just a uh, check or plaid with a little fringe trim all over and 
This is J. Jill. I think it's new without tags. It still has the little tag barbs there. A couple kind of kimono sarong type items. First is Johnny Was, my favorite brand to find, size small. This is gorgeous. It's a floral print kimono open front cardigan type item and all down the sides is floral embroidery just super high quality and the bottom hem and then in back you do have an embroidered little stripe going down the middle of the back so beautiful piece here i think this should sell maybe 75 ish we're going to take a quick pause from the video and talk about the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh, which I am so excited about. I've been making HelloFresh meals for years now and they really just do not disappoint. I remember back in 2017, I made a creamy mushroom pork chop meal with roasted Brussels sprouts and crispy potatoes and it was so delicious that I saved the recipe card and I still make it to this day. HelloFresh is such an easy, no-brainer way to simultaneously save time and have healthy, well-balanced meal kits delivered straight to your door, which is truly a game changer for me. Fall time can be super busy. We head into Q4, which is always the most chaotic time in my business as a reseller, just because you do wear so many different hats. But my weeknights are made so much easier by having foolproof step-by-step -step recipes that take just 30 minutes or less to make. Today we are making mozzarella and herb chicken with roasted carrots and buttery couscous that features fresh just picked produce that traveled from the farm to my door in under a week. So this is the recipe card. You have a recipe card for each meal that you order and they just make everything so easy. You have a visual of what your meal will look like, the ingredients list. It tells you how long your prep and cook time are, gives you the calories, and then on the back you have a step-by-step -step breakdown of everything that you'll be doing, prep, teaches you what to mix, when to coat what, when to preheat your oven. It just tells you, it just walks you through everything basically and makes it really easy to make your meal very quickly. And honestly, this looks delicious and healthy and it really makes it fun. And HelloFresh is not just for dinners. They also have quick breakfast, wholesome snacks, and even desserts. So I can eat healthy and tasty meals without having to dedicate my already limited time to hunting down recipes and going grocery shopping. HelloFresh really has my back by having my meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus meals and 70 plus convenience items, which is awesome. Plus, not only is HelloFresh delicious, but it's also the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all of their packaging is recyclable, which is very similar to what I practice in my own business. So we really align on that and it makes me feel like I can really stand behind the company and their efforts. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code McThrifty65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Again, that's HelloFresh.com and use code McThrifty65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Shipping. Next is this Michael Stars piece. This is a very versatile piece. I have sold an exact, the same exact piece, this same exact piece in the past from Michael Stars. You can wear it multiple ways. You can wear it like an open front kind of kimono, lightweight layer, or you can wear it as a sarong, or you can wear it as a scarf. So you can do a lot of a lot of different looks with this and I like the tie-dye kind of indigo print to that and lastly for little wraps and ponchos and whatnot we have this Lane Bryant the tags kind of worn off there it is a one-size piece cardigan topper so cute very boho it has a fringe trim this one does have an armhole so it's not you know just a wrap type thing and it is those stripes are embroidered so really pretty I love the neutral color palette little fringe trim okay we have a jacket from Alice and Olivia I have gotten pickier with this brand size extra small just because it has sat for me in the past 
pretty frequently, but this was such a substantial item that I had to go ahead and get it. It's kind of like a car coat in almost like a boucle kind of material. It's a half sleeve and the closures are magnetized, which is really nice. You don't see that too often, so you can kind of wear it open if you want. But yeah, really pretty. And this is a wool blend, so very high quality. It does have pockets, it's fully lined. And the lining is like that really soft jersey material. So even though it will keep you very warm, you will stay comfy with the soft lining. Next we have a Lucky Brand shirt. This has several kind of marketable factors to it. First off, it's a size extra large. It's new with tags, MSRP was $50, and it has a very boho, kind of peasant style print and cut to it. So, had to grab this. I'll probably list it 28-ish, and it'll probably sell around 25. This is a definite Bolo brand. I have sold it once in the past. I found it at the bins. It was like a nightgown type dress item and it sold for $90 if I'm not mistaken. This I think is a tunic. It's 100% linen, very cottage core, lag and look, granny core kind of vibes. I love the oversized mother of pearl buttons and the dramatic ruffles. This shade of blue is so pretty. Let me show you the tag. It is Yes, Heart's Desire by Mary Grace, and this is a definite brand to write down. This retailed for, I would say, a couple hundred dollars off the top of my head, and it will probably resell for, I would guess, around 125-ish. It seems like the demand for this brand is pretty high. Next, we have a tried and true piece, Sublime graphic t-shirt. This will sell very quickly. It does have a little bit of a crop fit to it. Size large. These were adorable. They're a newer piece from Anthropology. I know that because the store name is on the tag and they only recently started doing that. The sub brand is Etoile and they're a size 2. They're a pair of wide leg floral printed pants with kind of dramatic ruffle bottom hems with a split. So cute. I would totally wear these with just like a basic black bodysuit just because the pants are so loud themselves and I think that would be an adorable outfit maybe with like a little wicker purse and some sandals. Next, Torrid Active in a size 2 which is equivalent to a size 2X. This is a really soft, stretchy uh, pullover sweatshirt with a tie-dye print. So again, this has a lot of kind of marketable features to it. It's soft, it's stretchy, it's comfy, it's cotton spandex. This is the Torrid Active logo. It's kind of like a flaming heart. And also the tie-dye is also a feature that um, kind of bumps it up a little bit just because people love tie-dye, they love leopard print, people love stripes. There's just certain prints that are going to sell better than others. Next up we have soft surroundings in a size 1X and speaking of an item having marketable features, pretty much every aspect of this jacket makes it marketable. So soft surroundings in larger sizes, specifically size large and up, plus size sells best um, in this brand in particular, and also embroidered items. This is a heavily embroidered jacket, which, you know, jackets and heavier weight items are more substantial. It's really pretty. It has this contrast pink tie in front that ties in with the lining. Just a gorgeous piece overall, floral embroidery. So I will probably list this around $50 just because I do think it will sell really well. We are heading into fall time. The shell is cotton and flex. I don't think I've ever heard of flex before and the lining is rayon. So really pretty piece there. Next we have JOA, which 
I believe stands for just one answer, if I remember correctly. I see this brand every once in a while. I don't always get it. It's kind of like a mid-tier, uh, I wouldn't say boutique brand. I think it's sold on Revolve, but it doesn't have the highest uh, retail value, and it also doesn't uh, have the most demand on the secondhand market, I would say. But I did think that these were a great style. They are a wide leg pant. The tie was there. They're also a really nice kind of textured, crepey, crinkle material. So they had quite a bit going for them. I think you could, again, wear these several different ways. You could tuck in like a t-shirt bodysuit and dress them down. Or you could add heels and a fancier top to dress them up a little bit. I was super excited about this piece, William Rast, which if I'm not mistaken, I want to say this is Adam Levine's clothing line at Kohl's. Is that totally off? I need to look this up. Okay, William Rast is Justin Timberlake's clothing line, apparently. Um, I don't think it's anything that has like a spectacular retail price or resale value by any means, but this piece in particular, I think is so cute and sellable. It's that really soft material, very cozy, kind of like the Skims material, and it's in a shacket cut. So I think this will fly out of my closet, especially with fall being here oversized buttons. I mean, you can't get much cozier than that. An adorable little bodysuit from Intimately Free People. I did try this on and it is so cute on. I might end up keeping this just because it looks really cute tucked into jeans. It has these really pretty feminine kind of short bubble sleeves and then some pleating up top with an all over floral print and then little ties and back. So adorable, this is a size small. Next we have Umji, size large. I do like picking up Umji and Altered State and having them in my closet because people do bundle them and they just kind of bump up bundle sales. They do occasionally sell on their own for around, I would say 22 to 30-ish especially if the piece is a little bit more substantial like this. This is so cute. It has like a mixed print balloon sleeve, very boho. And this is in excellent condition. Really looks like it was never worn. And with it being a size large, I think it should do pretty well. It's a cotton spandex blend. Next, this again, I picked up for multiple reasons. The brand is Rachel Zoe which in and of itself is not anything spectacular, but it's 100% linen and it's a size extra large and it's a long line cardigan. So cardigans in the fall and winter time are probably my best selling category of items. Um, and this is a fabulous kind of transitional weather piece because it is, you know, a cardigan sweater fit, but the linen is still pretty breezy. So you can wear that, you know, when it when it's cooling down, but um, you know, it's not like straight cold yet. This I think is just like a boutique kind of thing. It's a size small. I got it because of the style. I think it's so cute. It's a plaid mustard button down shirt jacket with fraying all over. So if you can see at the collar, you have all of this fraying at the pockets, at the bottom hem, there's fraying, and it's a shacket fit. So again, going into fall time, I think shackets will be huge yet again, and this color has been really trendy for the past couple years. Another band tee, Pink Floyd, super cute. Again, this should fly out of my closet for around 25-ish. It is a size extra large. So I picked this up. I see this brand quite a bit and I know that it definitely does not have a high retail value. I think this is Kato. I could be wrong though, um, but I got it because I just love the color scheme. I like the little contrasting striped pocket. The sleeves are nice. It has a roll tab sleeve and kind of a dolman fit. 
it's a plus size and it is a linen blend. Yeah, it's 23% linen. So it's definitely a little bit higher quality. Um, I just like the loose fit to it. Love the color palette. And I just thought it would be like a nice casual kind of basic to have in your closet. Next we have newer tag Zara. Cropped little floral, vibrant pink sweater. I kind of went back and forth on this, but whenever I'm iffy on an item, I just kind of start making a list of sellable features that it has. And if there's more than like three, I'll go ahead and get it, especially because my cost of goods are so low. So for this, the floral print, the cropped fit, which is something people look for, and the fact that it's 10% wool, plus it being the newer Zara tag, all of those reasons, I did go ahead and get it. Hudson, I rarely buy this brand, but these jeans looked brand new, and I like this hunter green color for fall time. They have like a waxed feel to them, or coated feel, I guess you'd say. Yeah, not really, well, maybe waxed, I don't know, just definitely some type of coating. And so yeah, I think these would be really cool with like a cream sweater. They're the Barbara High Waist Skinny Ankle Jean. They're size 27, mostly like the color and the fact that they were brand new. Kendall and Kylie, size medium. Again, I do see this brand quite a bit. I definitely don't always grab it, but this particular style was so cute. It's a little baby doll dress, and it has a plaid print to it. Lots of details, a ruffle at the sleeves with elastic, little button up at the chest, and then a tiered skirt portion. So yeah, I'll probably add like cottagecore, prairie, boho, all kinds of keywords into that. This was a good find, Intermix, which is very expensive. Size small, genuine leather mini skirt. It does snap down the front, it has pockets, it's fully lined. So yeah, this should be a great fall staple for someone. I was kind of shocked. Um, when I saw, yeah, 100% genuine leather. So, yeah, I might list this for 50 to 65-ish. More free people. I'm going to have to fix the, it has a three button closure at the back of the neck and one of the elastic loops has come undone on one side, but I think that should be a pretty easy fix. It's a high collar, like turtleneck dress with a vibrant print and little, ties at the sleeves. If this didn't have so much going for it, I probably would have left it because of the flaw, but I think it should be an easy fix and I'm sure it will sell for around $30. It has a cutout in back, really soft, stretchy jersey knit, and I do really like this vibrant paisley print. Speaking of prints, we have tie-dye here, Rockin' Republic, size large. If this had not been tie-dye, I would have left it, but I think it's really cute, very boho. It has, it's a pop-over shirt. That's when the buttons go halfway down, and it does have roll-tab sleeves. Another great find, Fry collaborating with Anthropology. And these pants are brand new with tags, so that was awesome. They're a size 26. They originally retailed for $150. They have kind of like a faux paper bag waist look with elastic and a drawstring. And they do, oh yeah, they have embroidery here at the pockets, which is really cute. I had no idea that Fry and Anthropology had a collab. This is the same brand as the flip-flops that I showed earlier. So that's the Fry logo. And then here we have Fry collaborating with Anthropology. So that's kind of interesting. We will see how those do. Next up, we have another one of my favorite kind of category of items to sell. This is an athleisure dress from Prana, size small. This should sell for 28 to 35-ish. People love these. You can 
where these several kind of places you could go hiking wear it to a barbecue really anything outside they're sweat wicking they're breathable they're comfy and you look cute and put together so definitely a win-win all around i picked this up again for several reasons so first off it has a really cute cut to it it's like a baby doll tiered look it also has that really trendy kind of gauzy uh, brushed cotton kind of fabric almost like a muslin kind of cotton and also it's a size 3x the brand is jade by jane it has these adorable little tassels in front i will expect maybe 28 to 32 ish from that more plus size this is angie 1x I do keep my eyes peeled for cute plus size. I love, I've said it so many times, but I love having every size in my closet. And I think this is adorable. It has a lace up tie in front with again, little tassels and this super vibrant print. The wrists are smocked and the print does carry over to the back. So. Again, probably I would say 25 to 28 ish on that. I found a matching pair of Hannah Anderson Christmas Grinch Dr. Seuss by Hannah Anderson pajamas. I think these are a women's size small. They just say size small and I think these would fit me. So I'm pretty sure they're women's um, and they do have the Grinch printed all over. So I found the bottoms and I also found the matching top. I was actually really excited about this. Yeah, this is definitely women's size. Um, I think this will sell for probably around $50. People do specifically search this kind of stuff out. Hannah Anderson, if you guys are unfamiliar, is a very high quality children's brand, but they also do make women's clothing, and they make a lot of items made out of organic cotton, which people, again, search for and like. Umji, size large. Again, this is another kind of closet filler, kind of bread and butter bundle item. I loved the cut to this. It has this wide kind of bat wing dolman style sleeve with elastic here and a high-low hemline. Just looks really kind of effortlessly chic with like a beachy kind of color scheme. And it was in excellent condition. A pair of new with tags, American Eagle jeans. And these are actually the newer tag from American Eagle. The font looks just a little bit different from the older tag. It's like more spaced out and these were originally $60. They are the super high rise flare jean in a size 29. So these should be great for fall time once again with this dark hunter green and the corduroy texture to them. I'll probably list these, I would say 35 to 38 ish. Matilda Jane, which similar to Hannah Anderson makes a lot of children's clothing, but they also do make women's clothing. This is a size large. This is women's. It's a, it's either a tunic or a mini dress. I think it is definitely a tunic. It seems kind of short. Uh, really fun, vibrant print. Very feminine and flowy. Last couple items in our first bag. I love picking up this brand, Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. This brand was discontinued, but people did really like it. And so... When something is discontinued on the retail market, people do, they're forced to turn to the secondhand market to find items to buy. So that's always exciting. This is a size medium. And this is a really pretty kind of ditzy floral print dress. That's the print there. It laces up at the chest and then has a sweet little ruffle at the bottom hem. I think it's like knee length. It's fully lined, smocked in back with kind of a lower back. 
So again, I'll add cottagecore, prairie, boho, granny core, yet another dress. This is Anthropology's house brand by Anthropology. Really nice reptile printed shirt dress. I've said it a million times, but shirt dresses sell very well for me. They're easy to throw on and they're comfy to wear, but you still look really put together. And you know, you could wear sneakers with this or you could do a wedge or a heel. Uh, so you could really dress this up or dress it down. Okay, moving on to our second and final bag here. First off, we have a Nua Tags Zara basic dress in a size small. This is very cute. It looks very flattering. I like the kind of minimalist vibe with the black and white stripe to it. It has a faux wrap front with an accentuated waistline and with it being new with tags that is awesome it's fully lined and this is a linen blend yeah 55 percent linen i always look for that you know it's that definitely does kind of elevate the quality versus if this were just like 100 percent polyester linen is natural it's breathable this is so i originally was kind of drawn to this top because of the both the tie-dye print and the material. It's 100% silk. It's a sleeveless little tank with a cowl draped front. It's like a racer back tank. And I just did a quick search in store and I'm so glad I did. The brand is Maggie Ward. So this was actually this top, this exact top in the same colorway was worn by I want to say Serena in Gossip Girl and uh, the as seen on TV stuff really can make an item sell better because people search for specific characters and what they've worn in specific shows. So yeah, I'm definitely going to add that into the description on this. Next up, we have an American Eagle boyfriend fit button down shirt. These, similar to shirt dresses, cardigans, this is another great category of item that just sells really well for me. Boyfriend shirts, they are really easy to wear. You can wear them open over a tank or you can wear them closed. If they're super oversized, you can wear it as a shirt dress. So you can really just do a lot. This one is, again, a size extra large, which is great. And it's that trendy kind of mustard yellow color. One of my favorite brands to sell soft, soft surroundings. And this is a very specifically sellable item from the brand just because it has so much going for it. It has this really oversized buffalo check to it with a fringe kind of pom-pom trend. Trend trim throughout it's on the sleeves it's around the neck it has a smocked neck which is kind of different i would say it's also a size extra large like i was mentioning at the beginning of this video size large and up definitely sells best for me in this brand and it's also nice and breathable natural being cotton i grabbed this because of the print and the material i hadn't heard of this brand american twist los angeles but it was made in usa and it had this really fun tie-dye print it's also a really soft comfy stretch jersey knit which people do keep an eye out for it's a size small yeah 95 percent rayon five percent spandex so this will probably sell for around $25. This is kind of an experiment piece. It's a vintage item. The tag really meant nothing to me. Cherry sticks. It's mostly acrylic, but I just thought this that this was very trendy for fall time. It's like an oversized kind of slouchy uh, sweater vest, v-neck sweater vest. So, you know, with like a pair of high-waisted mom jeans maybe like a gray colored or a light wash mom jean, and then like a chunky boot. I think this would be such a cool look. Um, so I had to get that. I'm going to probably try to add in a lot of keywords to that to get more eyes on it. We have Mark New York. I pretty much never pick up this brand. I don't really see it that often, size small, but I did 
just like something about this. It's a chambray top, which chambray does sell very well for me, especially in the fall time. It also has some cute details like the tie bottom hem and the oversized mother of pearl buttons on the sleeves. It is that kind of like relaxed fit. So I think that should go probably 25 to 28 ish. Next we have a brand that people search out size small made in USA. I do usually include the words lag and look and minimalist contemporary when I list this brand just a little dress. I've sold it several times in the past and it usually sells for I'd say 25 to 35 ish. CNC California, another brand that I rarely pick up. This just had so much going for it. It's 100% linen. I could tell it was plus size. It has an all over camo print. It's a hoodie and it has a really cute button back. So yeah, this has a ton of sellable features to it. I think it's so cool, such an interesting piece. Definitely unique. You don't see camo linen hoodies, shirt topper kind of hoodie pieces that often. Hollister. I do occasionally pick up Hollister and Abercrombie and Fitch. They, both of the brands have had kind of a resurgence, especially with uh, you know, the younger crowd, and they do have a high retail price. This dress probably retailed for, I would guess, like $50 to $80, so, you know, I can easily flip it for around $25. I liked the plaid print, and the belt was still attached, so I had to go ahead and get it. I'll add, like, 90s, maybe Clueless as uh, some descriptive words. Next, Rails. I would not pay up for this brand anymore, I don't think, just because the demand for it has seemed to die down a little bit, but this looked brand new. It's a size medium, and it's kind of like that boyfriend fit. It has a pinstripe to it. It's a linen blend, which we love. I would totally wear this as like an oversized shirt yeah 55 percent linen 45 percent rayon so had to get this i'll probably list it 35 ish a really fun pair of tie-dye pants they're high rise they have an elastic waist wide leg really funky and cool but also chic you could do just like a cream bodysuit with these and some wedges they are by the brand brand young fabulous and broke in a size extra small they seem really comfy but also you know you could totally dress those up made well kind of a basic chambray dress here size two it buttons down in front and has pockets and then it crosses over and back Fully lined, just a nice kind of basic. I'll probably list that, I would say 28 to 32-ish. Torrid 3X, Torrid is for sure one of my best selling bread and butter brands. This is a tiered tunic top with like a graphite wash to it and exposed seams. Just a nice comfy top to throw on and go. I usually pick up pretty much all Torrid if it's in excellent condition. Really fun little top here from Umji, size small. I love this color. It's a color block cream and mustard yellow with these dramatic boho sleeves. Definitely makes a statement. So yeah, I would say 25 to 28 ish on that. I've never found this brand before. I have heard of it. Long, tall, long, tall Sally. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say size medium. Um, and I believe this brand specifically makes clothing for taller people. So that's really cool. And I liked the kind of contemporary minimalist grid print or window pane print, I will add both of those keywords into the listing. 
And this, again, looked brand new. So I had to go ahead and get it. It does also feel really comfy, viscose and elastane. So soft and stretchy for sure. J. Crew. So I picked these up because they are the newer J. Crew tag. Also, they are a size extra large. And they are a very, again, kind of versatile pant. Uh, you could wear these to the beach or just on any kind of outing. Um, or, you know, you could wear like a dressy wedge with these and a nice like silk top to dress them up. They looked brand new, so I for sure had to get those. If these had been a size extra small or the older tag, I may have left them behind just because they are kind of plainish, but with everything they had going for them, I did get them. Eileen Fisher, size medium, a loose knit sweater top here. It's like an oatmeal kind of color. I like the texture to it. Has side vents, and I believe this is 100% linen. No, 45% linen with cotton, nylon, and rayon. So I will add minimalist, contemporary, lag and look, beachy, coastal grandma, uh, boho uh, into, I'll probably add, because this is such a plain sweater, I'm not going to, you know, search a million years to find the style name of this. I think that would be impossible. And so I will have a lot of extra room in the title. So I will probably add three or four keywords at least into the title uh, to just kind of highlight the nice uh, vibe that sweater has going on. And I will also include them in the description. Next we have Sonoma, another brand I frequently see but do not buy. However, this was a size 2X. It has a rainbow stripe to it. It is a dress and it is new attacks. So it retailed for $36. I will probably list it around 28. It has pockets and it is a linen blend. So this had so much going for it. I couldn't leave it. If this had been like a tank top and new tags, I probably would have left it. But you know, with it being a dress, 53% linen has the fun rainbow print. And with it being new, I for sure got that. Lucky brand size large, little boho printed blouse. This is another type of item that I will get to add into my closet for people to bundle, just kind of bump up a bundle sale. This I was excited to find. Mod cloth does sell extremely well for me, especially if the pieces are quirky and fun. This dress in particular definitely is. It's a skater style dress with little embroidered sunflowers on the pockets and a Peter Pan collar. Really pretty. It's like a really thick, like ponty knit material. So very well made, very high quality. I could see this selling for around 35-ish. Next up we have Chico's, size two, 100% linen. Chico's in a size two is equivalent to a size large. I believe I'm almost positive. And my neighbor Crystal actually picked this top up for me at the bins. She knows I love Chico's and she knows I love linen items. So the combo, um, she grabbed it for me. So thanks Crystal. I will put her Poshmark closet on the screen, the name of it or the username. And I will add the link in my description. So go check her closet out. She has some really cute items in her Poshmark closet. But yeah, I was really happy when she gave this to me. I think it will sell really well. It's a fully buttoned down front. I love the hot pink and it looks like it would be really flattering. It has kind of a defined waist to it. Next, another cute little dress, American Eagle, size medium. I do kind of exclusively pick up the newer American Eagle tag, which this is. Um, again, kind of like Hollister and Abercrombie, this dress probably retailed for 50 to 75 ish. And I thought the plaid print would be nice for fall. It has the fabric covered belt still attached. Really cute, fully lined. More new tags ASOS. I definitely don't always grab ASOS size six, but. 
again, lots of factors here. New with tags, it's a leopard print, and it's a romper cut. And all of those things sell especially well for me. Leopard print and rompers, um, and you know, with it being new with tags, that does elevate it also. It ties in back, really cute. This would be adorable in fall time with like a black wool hat and some little booties. Even more umg. I feel like I've had so much of it in this haul today. This is a size small and I thought this was really nice. Uh, it looks almost like an Eileen Fisher dress. Very minimalist, contemporary, but still kind of boho. I love the slouchy pockets and the high-low hemline. It feels like a slub cotton material. You have some exposed seams there. You can see at the collar, it's all kind of raw seams. So yeah, really kind of interesting, cool piece for UMG. 60% cotton, 40% polyester. We have, I believe only one men's item in this entire haul. This is Fossil Brand, size large, vintage fit, pearl snap shirt, men's shirt. And I just think this will quickly sell for 25 to 28-ish. It's actually really nice. That's the pearl snap to it. Another cute little mini dress here, listicle, which does not have a high retail price, but the style definitely does kind of carry this. I think it will easily sell for around 25 to 28 ish. I love the fall colors. It's fully lined and you know, it is the shell is hundred percent cotton. So, you know, if this had been hundred percent polyester, I might've left it, but the quality and style were definitely there. This was an interesting pickup. Uh, I will put the name of it on, oh, Velvet Stone. There we go. Velvet Stone, it's 100% cotton. I did check check comps on this in store and they it looked to be selling pretty well. It's very intricate. The cross has some lace to it and beading, so really pretty. And you know, it has that washed out kind of look to it with some embroidery on the sleeves. Definitely more like a grunge kind of look, so I will add in a lot of keywords to this. Um, but a really cool shirt overall. Let's see, what, is this more UMG? I think it is. Yeah, size extra large. And this is a little off shoulder, kind of lightweight top with a vibrant floral print and a little tie at the bottom hem have elastic at the wrists. I have sold this brand once before Jules and it sold within like an hour of being listed. And it was actually very similar to this. It was a pink gingham or check, 100% linen button down shirt. I think it sold for $30. Um, and this is a pink check linen dress. So I'm expecting similar results from this. Um, it might actually take a little bit longer because we are moving out of summertime, but I could not leave this behind. Really cute. Also linen, we have Tahari. I absolutely love finding this brand in 100% linen items. They sell so well for me. This is a size large. It's a long line hoodie cardigan. Um, so again, great for transitional weather. You have coastal grandma, beachy, uh, lagging look. It has a hoodie, really nice color there. American Eagle, newer tag, striped pants. They're like a wide leg pant with a waist tie and pockets. So you could do a lot with these really. You could, uh, I would personally just wear like a white kind of baby tee and some sneakers with those. More new tags. This is just Style & Co, but it was a size 3X. I loved the print to it and it does have some really pretty kind of feminine details to it like the ruffle sleeve and the ruffle bottom hem. It is also 
Again, that really soft, stretchy jersey knit material, rayon and spandex. Let's see if the, yeah, retail price was $57 on this. So I will list that for probably 28 ish. Just a little pair of Lucky Brand shorts. Lucky Brand shorts do sell really well. People search them out. These are size 2 or 26. And last couple items, we have kind of similar to the sweater vest from earlier. This had no tags, but I liked the kind of thick, chunky, woven knit and the v-neck. I think this would just be really flattering and kind of like effortlessly cool with some high-waisted mom jeans. And our very last item for this huge haul is Lucky Brand, size extra large. It's a sheer boho printed long sleeve blouse. It's really pretty. You could just wear a little cami under this. And that is absolutely everything for this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.